Hello to Six Sigma Mania. Value stream is all actions required to bring a product through all needed processes. From raw material to customer in the case of products. From concept to launch in the case of design. Value stream map helps to understand connections between value stream single processes, visualize material and information flow through those processes, and how they are linked together. It helps to see waste and waste sources in whole stream, by which you can avoid cherry picking and improve the whole picture. On top of that, it is a great tool to understand value-added and non-value-added activities. VSM can be used in different levels of the views. From very high level, call it company or facility level, through middle level, portion of facility, as well as the process level. I believe that facility value stream map review should be one of the first activities for newcomers. Minimally all the staff people should know and understand it very well. But most of the people are feared and scared if you ask them about it. It can be a common communication tool between departments, where most of the frictions happens. Make sure, there is just one person leading. But mapping should be a team effort. You must know which level of the map you want to draw first. To start mapping you need to choose product family. By doing this, you identify products going through similar process steps. This will help team to focus on products that customer really wants. Understand customer requirements prior visiting process. Visit mapped processes with paper and pencil, so everyone in the team can see connection between reality and drawn picture. Map a present state of chosen product family. Use stopwatch and rely on real times. Collect all information about material flow, inventory included. Mark information flow when you're done with material. Start at the process end and continue upstream. End up with drawing suppliers and their connections to the value stream. Review current state map and identify obvious opportunities for improvement. Next step is to map desired, the ideal state of chosen product. We would like to see lean value stream. So, what makes it lean? It is eliminating all non-value added activities. The mother of non-value added activities and wastes is overproduction. Follow next steps to eliminate it. Produce to your talk time. Develop continuous flow wherever possible. Use supermarkets or FIFO lanes to control production where continuous flow is not possible. Try to schedule only one production process. Called pacemaker process. It is usually the closest process to the customer. Produce different products from the product family over the time. It can buy daily or weekly. Level the production mix in other words. Level production volumes in the next step. Do not release large batches of the products. Distribute them over the time. Develop ability to make every part every day upstream of your pacemaker process. Last step is to develop implementation plan to reach future state. Material flow is usually drawn from the left to right, information flow from right to left. Use different colors for each, for better visualization. Under each cell representing operation fill describing information. Counted pieces. Cycle time. Change over time. Number of shifts or working time. Number of people per shift or operation. Downtime or uptime. Batch or pack sizes. Scrap rate, and so on. Choose information that fits to your needs. Use whatever units fits for you. Just stay unified for all processes. There are standard symbols used in mapping. You can download it from the link below, if you need. But mapping should serve to people, not reversely. So, use symbols or pictures you and your team understand better. Great for understanding the flow during the time, is timeline bars inserted below completed map. Lower bar for process cycle time, upper bar represents time between operations, called waiting time. Cycle times, and waiting times addition gives us process lead time. By dividing processing time with lead time, we get process efficiency. I'd like to also list all challenges and wastes from gimbal walk below each process box, so teams see all the information in one place. If your intention is to be an expert on value stream mapping read Learning to See book by Mike Roeder and John Shook first. It is a great source of detailed information about mapping and building future state. Find the link below to order the book. Take a look under the video, where you find a link to my blog full of information related to Six Sigma and Lean. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button and join Sigma Maniacs. Do not hesitate to post your comments, questions, or themes you are interested in to see on this channel. Looking forward to meeting you with the next video.